This week's conference is the last week of our semester study, Ascending into Our Lightness, and looking at yoga is a path to enlightenment, the physiology and the spirituality of our yoga practice. So we are at the very top, the crown chakra, utilizing um, standing tall and wide, using our yoga asana and our breath and our yoga poses and movements and vinyasa to open into our highest potential. And this week we looked at the difference between religion and spirituality and how religion is part of the first chakra, tribe, culture, and that as we ascend and we're moving into this higher way of being and thinking and showing up for life, we really embrace what is spiritual and, and move into ways of opening that spirituality from a very personal place. And so for this week, one of the things I used as a, a, a symbolic analogy was the flashlight again. And we talked about where you put your flashlight, your attention is part of how you express your, um, your brightest self. Again, we're using that analogy of light to say, do I shine my attention on irritability and frustration and unkind thoughts to others? Or do I shift my flashlight, my attention towards gratitude? and towards love. And, and this week we added to that, this idea that not only do we use that um, power of choice to shift our attention to higher realms of um, being like love, but also not just what we see, but how we see. And so I hope you can follow, uh, um, watch the entire conference this week because we talk about some pretty simple yet powerful things like, I, I use an example of um, a young girl, a friend of mine named Jesse, who sees the homeless person at the grocery store and knows his name and gets to know him in a way that she is um, knowing that he used to live in an apple um, orchard. And so she gets some apples from the grocery store and this beautiful story of how he um, felt seen by her. And that's such a beautiful example from this young girl to how are we living our life? What are we shining our light on? Are we seeing things? Are we being compassionate? And, you know, we talk about people that we consider like not necessarily religious people, maybe so, like the Dalai Lama and Mother Teresa and some of my favorites like Don o John O'Donohue, but also um, people that we see as like stepping out of that box of the religion, but really bringing that light to the world, that flashlight. They were like human flashlights to, um, to spirituality and how we can be loving human beings and compassionate human beings in the smallest ways, in the very moments and details of your today, of your tomorrow, and that spirituality isn't um, meditating and wearing cloaks of a sannyasi, but that spirituality is is how we treat ourselves and how we treat others and the flashlight that we use to see the best potential and to be our highest light ourselves so i use one of the um one of my favorite uh sort of poems if you will a little essay um, by um, saskia davis called symptoms of peace and i share that because i think as we move into the seventh chakra some of the things that she describes, I'll just read to you the first few lines of Symptoms of Peace. Tendency to think and act spontaneously rather than from fear. An unmistakable ability to enjoy the moment. Loss of interest in judging other people. And it continues on. And, and when we look at these symptoms, it's like when I'm, when I'm able to like be in that higher state of, of light, I am less judgmental. I am more spontaneously joyful. And what I'm hoping that you'll do is to put your symptoms of peace somewhere where you'll see it and remind you that this is what spirituality is all about. Like, how am I, am I showing up joyful today? Am I showing up with compassion today? And to underline your favorite lines, the ones that speak to you the most. Um, I personally love the one that says, frequent overwhelming episodes of appreciation feelings of connectedness with others in nature. And I know when I am feeling 
like my brightest lightning bug, Diana, I, I do feel that connectedness to other people and it's, it's exciting and I feel connected to nature. So join me as we finish up this semester and I close the teaching by saying, divine uh, spirituality is everywhere and that you are divine. You are living spirit in everything that you do.